Close your eyes and imagine this. Humanity has finally taken its first steps toward becoming an interplanetary species. On the barren plains of Mars, where red dust stretches as far as the eye can see, a new world is being built. Not by NASA, not by SpaceX, but by the rising space power of China. Their bold flag flutters against a backdrop of futuristic habitats and solar farms. And the world watches in awe as they take the lead in one of humanity's greatest endeavors. This isn't a far-fetched science fiction story. It's a scenario that could soon become reality. China's rapid advancements in space exploration have caught the world's attention, and their ambitions don't stop with Earth's orbit. But what would it mean if they actually colonized Mars before NASA and SpaceX? How would this reshape the global balance of power, our approach to space exploration, and the very future of humanity in the cosmos? In this video, we'll explore what such a monumental achievement would look like, how China might accomplish it, and the fascinating ripple effects it could send through geopolitics, technology, and human history. Strap in, because we're diving deep into a scenario that could redefine everything we know about space and our place in it. Let's start by looking at why China is even in this race to begin with. While many think of space exploration as an American or international endeavor, China has been steadily carving its path to the stars. In the past two decades, they've gone from playing catch-up to becoming a major player in space. Think about it. Their Chang'e program has achieved feats that only a handful of nations have ever accomplished, like landing on the far side of the moon. Their Tianwen, one mission didn't just orbit Mars. It successfully landed a rover, the Zhurong, making China the third country in history to explore the Martian surface. And then there's the Tiangong Space Station, a marvel of engineering that showcases China's commitment to mastering long-term space habitation. But what makes China's ambitions so unique is their approach. They're not just throwing rockets at the sky, they're building a strategy. Unlike private companies like SpaceX, which aim for bold, rapid progress, China's space program is part of a broader, government-backed plan to position themselves as a dominant force in the 21st century. And they're playing the long game. From developing nuclear-powered propulsion systems to planning lunar bases that could serve as a launch pad for Mars missions, China is laying the groundwork for something big, something that could change the course of human history. Now, let's leap into the future. Picture it. The year is 2045. The first Chinese astronauts, or taikonauts, step onto the dusty surface of Mars, planting their flag into the red soil. But this isn't just a moment of national pride. It's the beginning of a new civilization. The colony they establish is like something out of a sci-fi movie. Modular, dome-like habitats rise from the Martian surface, each equipped with advanced life support systems that recycle air, water, and nutrients. Inside these habitats, a team of scientists, engineers, and agricultural specialists work tirelessly, growing food in hydroponic greenhouses and conducting research into how to make Mars not just survivable, but livable. Above ground, sprawling solar farms capture every ray of sunlight, powering everything from life support systems to robotic mining operations. These robots dig deep into the Martian crust, extracting valuable minerals and water ice to support the colony and prepare for future missions. But the most fascinating part? This colony isn't just surviving, it's thriving. China's focus on self-sufficiency means they're not dependent on supply runs from Earth. They're using local resources to build and expand, and they're even manufacturing rocket fuel for Mars's carbon dioxide-rich atmosphere. This isn't just a colony. It's the foundation for a new human civilization on another world. But what would this mean for the rest of us back on Earth? For decades, 
Space exploration has been a story of collaboration. The International Space Station brought together nations that were once rivals, proving that humanity could achieve incredible things when it worked together. But if China establishes the first Martian colony, it could shift that dynamic entirely. They'd have control over Mars's resources, setting the stage for a new kind of space race, one driven by economic and political dominance. Imagine a world where access to Martian minerals, water, or even data is dictated by one nation. How would other countries respond? Would it spark competition, conflict, or perhaps even force the world into an uneasy alliance? And then there's the question of governance. Who decides the rules on Mars? If China colonizes it first, will they impose their own systems of control? Or will this new frontier require an entirely new kind of international cooperation? One that transcends Earth's boundaries? The possibilities are as exciting as they are unsettling. This isn't just about space. It's about how we, as a species, navigate the challenges of exploration, power, and unity. Of course, the story doesn't end with China. NASA and SpaceX are far from out of the game, and both have ambitious plans to reach Mars. NASA's Artemis program is paving the way for deep space exploration, starting with a return to the moon. By testing new technologies and learning how to live on another celestial body, they're preparing for the ultimate challenge, Mars. Meanwhile, SpaceX is rewriting the rules of space travel. With the development of Starship, a fully reusable rocket capable of carrying large crews and cargo, Elon Musk's dream of building a self-sustaining city on Mars is closer than ever. SpaceX's approach is bold, fast, and relentless qualities that could make all the difference in the race to the Red Planet. The big question is, will these efforts outpace China's meticulous, government-backed strategy? Or will the race to Mars push everyone, NASA, SpaceX, and China alike, to innovate faster and dream bigger? At its heart, the race to Mars is about more than just planting a flag. It's about proving that humanity can reach beyond the confines of Earth and build a future among the stars. Whether it's China, NASA, SpaceX, or a collaboration between nations, the first Martian colony will represent a giant leap forward, not just for one country, but for all of us. It's a chance to explore, to innovate, and to show what humanity is truly capable of when we dare to dream. So, what do you think? Could China be the first to claim Mars? How would that reshape the future of space exploration and life on Earth? Share your thoughts in the comments, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more explorations into the mysteries of space and the universe. Until next time, remember, the final frontier is closer than we think.